and welcome to my basic introduction to how we're going to launch a space shuttle into space. So, uh, as you can see, we have a space shuttle here. This is specifically Space Shuttle Atlantis. You can see that it's composed of a central fuel tank, that is this orange object here, the shuttle itself, and two SRBs to either side, that is solid rocket boosters. These are what are going to initially get us up into a uh, a position where we can actually boost into an orbit. So the way this launch is going to work, these two SRBs are essentially going to be my first gears if I were in a car. These are going to just absolutely haul it. They apply raw power that is totally unmatched by anything else that we have today, other than, say, lighting a bomb underneath myself. But, you know, we, we tried that. It, it didn't work. So we use chemical boosters, but I'm getting way off topic. You can see, uh, I'm having a little trouble with my camera here. I, here, I just press F1 to hop into my cockpit, and we can see that it is not quite sunrise yet. And I can also see my left SRB, and my right SRB, and my tank. Now, I wouldn't get too frightened of everything you see on the screen. I'll give you a quick rundown. This is my angle. So right now, I'm at 90 degrees, that is, I'm pointing straight up from the ground. This is my heading, essentially which direction I'm pointing. This is how fast I am going. And this is my current altitude. My tanks are full, because I haven't actually used anything yet. That's what this is. Main That says main propellant. Main engine here, zero. I am at zero power. Down here... I have something called multi-function displays. I can set these two to uh, essentially view different computers that I can use to help me out with my orbital stuff. It'll look scary right now, trust me, don't worry. Half of this you don't even really need to look at. This actually is already up, uh, up here. This is a copy of this. So here I've got my heading, here I've got my speed, which you remember is over here, here I've got my altitude, which you remember is over here. The only additional information this provides is how quickly I'm going upwards. That is my vertical uh, speed in meters a second. And this is my uh, vertical acceleration. Over here, I have my acceleration for my speed. This over here is an orbit computer. There's very little of this that if you're just playing around, you really need to worry about. I'll get into exactly how to handle this uh, later. But what I will tell you for now, that way you can kind of follow as I'm launching, this gray circle here is the Earth's surface. This green circle is my current orbit. As you can see, that's not much of an orbit. I'm pretty much stationary. So what my flight plan here is going to be, at uh, zero seconds, essentially uh, T0, I'm going to haul it and hit my SRB. Um, 75 seconds, I'm going to pitch backwards to 80 degrees, 95, I'm going to continue to 70, 115, I'm going to continue to 60, 135 to 50, so on, so forth, gradually pitching back. Because just as important as my altitude is my speed. By the time I hit 235 seconds, I should be at zero degrees. And uh, I'm going to explain what we're doing after uh, that point. Now, Let's hit it. And we have liftoff, you can kind of see. So I'm going to wait for 75 seconds, at which point I am going to pitch backwards to 80 degrees. You see my uh, acceleration, my vertical acceleration going up. You see my speed acceleration going up. And you see my altitude climbing. Don't worry about this red bar yet. You'll worry about that later. Just don't care. So uh, I'm going to stop talking for now and and uh, start completing my roll. Now, over here, we see what level of seconds we're at. So I'm waiting for 75, at which point I'm going to pull back to uh, 80 degrees, uh, 50, 51, 52, 53... Yeah, I'm just filling space at this point. 
you know what, I'm going to start this a little early, that way I can make sure I'm there in time. So I'm pulling back on my stick and pitching back. So right on cue, right around 75, I'm at 80. At 95, I want to be at 70. There we go, slowly drifting back. At 115, I want to be at 60. So 15 seconds from now, I'm going to slow down my roll a little. Slowly adjusting. There we go. Now, 135, I want to be at 50. So I'm just going to kind of hover here for now. Whoop, wrong way. There we go. So, pretty close to 135, I'm at 50. Uh, 155, I'm at 40. You don't really need to stress yourself over exactly where you are when. Uh, this is just if you want to be an absolute perfectionist about your launch, which uh, I tend to do. I would just trial and error, just play around with it, see how, uh, see what speed of rolling back works for you. So now I'm going to wait for 175 to pitch to 30. I've just passed the Carmen line. I am now officially in space. So I'm approaching 175, so I'm going to start pitching to 30. By the time I reach it, I should be there. Not quite. Sorry. All right, so at 20 degrees, I should be at 195. Notice I'm slowly pitching towards zero. I'm just going to kind of let it go from here. Right on the money, I'm at 20, and uh, 10 should be 215, which I'm going a little fast for, but you know what, what the hell ever. I'm just going to let it go from here. Now, these buttons down here are my autopilots. When I hit that zero right there, I'm going to hit kill rotation, which is going to prevent me from uh, rotating any further. So 235, I should be at zero, which I'm pretty close to. Okay, so I'm just going to correct my uh, orientation here a little. Wrong way. Alright, I swear I know how to fly this thing. Anyway, so, looking down, you see I still have my tank. This will auto-separate as I approach zero propellant in the tank. That is visible here. Now, what you'll notice down here is that my circle is slowly starting to grow because I'm pretty much at altitude. I'm aiming for 300 kilometers, uh, plus or minus like 50. Uh, sometimes I screw up and end up at 600. I'll show you how to fix that later. So what I'm looking for is this circle to expand outside this gray line. Now to quickly give you an idea of what you have to worry about here, since I don't really have a whole lot else to do right now, the basic mechanics of an orbit, apoapsis, apoapsis radius. This is the highest point of my orbit, the furthest point from the center of the Earth, which is indicated by the uh, you can kind of see at the end of my line right here. My periapsis distance, that is the shortest point of my orbit, the point where I am closest to the center of the Earth. You'll see 6.6 uh, .6, uh, miles is a lot different from this many uh, k. Yeah, you, this is, here's my periapsis point. As you can see, I, I kind of don't want to orbit through the center of the Earth so by increasing my speed at my altitude, which I'm coming pretty close to, looks like I uh, hit it pretty decently, by increasing my speed, I push my periapsis out like this. So my goal is to have my periapsis somewhere around here. And uh, I'll show you how to correct it so these two are 
uh, essentially a circular orbit. So PER is the lowest point on my orbit. APR is the highest point of my orbit. Basically, all orbital maneuvers are done at either of these two points. Eccentricity, this is ECC here, is a measure of the shape of my orbit. For example, you see that uh, given this egg that is that kind of goes through the planet, that's very high. Ideally, you want this as close to zero as possible. Uh, if you're greater than one, you're not coming back. So that's the general idea of uh, what eccentricity is. T is my orbital period. That is, let's say I pass through my apoapsis. How long is it going to take me to get back to my apoapsis? That's a uh, that's what this is a measure of. PET, periapsis time. That's how many in k thousands of seconds it's going to take me to get back to periapsis. Apoapsis T, same thing. This is still evolving, which is why this is this isn't going down. Uh, my orbit is actually uh, increasing pretty nicely. Hold on. I notice I'm a little off. Let me fix that. I am now going to go to 15 degrees. That way I ensure that my vertical acceleration does not kill. There we go. Okay, I'm good. Inclination is the angle of my orbit relative to uh, the equator, pretty much. Land, don't worry about. LPE, don't worry about. Essentially, don't worry about any of this down here yet. From here up, periapsis distance, apoapsis distance, shortest point, highest point. Whether or not I was an idiot setting it up, how long it takes me to go around, how long it's going to take me to get back to my shortest point, how long it's going to take me to get back to my highest point. Let me just take a look at this. I shouldn't be raising that fast, but what the hell ever. Let me fix that. Right now, I don't want to go any higher, so I want to keep my vertical acceleration as low as possible. So I'm going to continue going down until I approach zero, and then uh, I'm going to kill rotation. So I'm about to lose my tank, so what I'm going to do... Um, hold on. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to kill rotation. Now I'm about to turn over. I'm now belly down. So let me fix that. Down here you see my bank. So I'm going to try to bring this to zero. And I just brought it the other direction. There we go. Okay, five... Cool, you, my circle's expanding rapidly. So, this is actually kind of cool. We're going to watch my tank drop. <laughs> 